All right, guys. So this says to fill in the missing parts of the proof. And um, all you have to do is to look at these proofs and fill in the blanks. So let's go ahead and do that. It says given line AB intersects line C. Okay, so it tells us that line AB intersects line CD and it wants you to prove that angle two is congruent to angle four. So it wants me to prove that this angle and this angle are vertical angles. All right, so it already did some things to me. It says this intersects, so I just need to fill in the blank. This is given, so that's what goes here because that's what they gave us. And then they says that the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three is equal to 180 and the measure of angle three is equal to the measure of angle four equals 180. That is called linear, oopsie, that's called linear pairs. That's the reason and why, linear pairs. Remember I told you linear pairs are the ones that are right beside each other. Okay, next, the next um, statement is, the reason is substitution. Then what this is saying then is I can say the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three should equal the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four because they both equal 180. So I could set these two parts right here equal to each other. And from the subtraction property of equality, that means if I subtract the three off of both sides, then I'm left with the measure of angle two equals the measure of angle four. And then that gets me right back at the end of what I was looking for. The measure of angle two is congruent to the measure of angle four. And this little symbol here means therefore they are congruent. And that's by what we call the um, And this here is just simply definition of congruent angles. So right here is just the definition of congruent angles. Definition of congruent angles. And we're finished. And that's all you had to fill in. All right, see you later, guys. Bye.